Hello friends, today I want to tell you an incredible story that happened about two years ago, and in just a few days it went around the world and won the hearts of millions of people. Audrey was a very ordinary woman who really loved children and raised her three children by herself. Like any good mother, she tried to make sure that her children did not need anything, and that is why she worked two jobs and always bought the best for her children. Audrey had big plans and dreams for her life. Like any woman, she imagined that many years later she would be playing with her grandchildren and enjoying life with lots of smiles and children's laughter, and that's probably how it should have been. But at the end of 2018, she woke up in the morning and felt sick. Audrey decided to stay home for a few days and not go to work, blaming it on simple fatigue, but after three days, it wasn't getting any better, so she went to the hospital. The doctor said that a deeper medical examination was needed. She would have to spend several days in the hospital. It just so happened that there was no one to leave the children with. So when Audrey knocked on neighbor Tish's door, whom she knew only in passing and asked Trish to stay overnight with her three children, the woman was a little surprised, but being a mother of five herself, she immediately said yes. Especially since the neighbor explained, she had to spend the night at the hospital for examination purposes. At that moment, Tish had no idea that her life would soon change dramatically. The next day, Audrey came home completely grief-stricken. It was obvious that she was very upset, but she didn't want to say anything. Tish knew something was wrong, and so she decided to find out what was wrong. And as it turned out, this day would turn her life upside down forever. It turned out that doctors diagnosed Audrey with second-degree stomach cancer and according to them, the single mother didn't have much time left. The news was terrifying, and instantly it turned a joyful woman's life upside down. Audrey understood that her days were numbered, but it was not her own future that worried her most, but the fate of her three children. So when literally just days before Audrey passed away, she asked Tish and her husband to become the caregivers for her little ones. For Tish, the request was like a bolt from the blue. Tish, who herself had grown up in an orphanage, knew better than anyone what the children were going through after their mother's death. She'd even developed a little love for the three little strangers. In addition, her children and Audrey's children had already become friends with each other. And even though the Beauchemin family was not wealthy and their house could barely hold seven people, still, Tish did not say no. She hugged Audrey and told her she needed to talk to her husband since he was the one who had to carry the whole family on his shoulders. But after hearing such a request, the man only sat down and after a few seconds said, As long as I have strength, I will not let these children end up in an orphanage. I will do anything to make them happy. And as it happened, after that conversation, just a few days later, Audrey burned out from a terrible disease and the Beauchemin couple took a desperate step. They adopted all of her children. It had been just over a month from their first meeting to this day. That's how two families became one big family. The new parents surrounded their adopted children with incredible kindness, care, and support. And their children willingly shared their bedrooms, closets, and bathrooms with their newly adopted siblings. However, everyone understood that it was not very comfortable for the family to live in such cramped quarters. Some slept in the kitchen, some in the corridor, and some on the floor. Even so, there was love and care. Tish and her husband did not divide the children into their own and adopted, they were all a single organism. And probably that would have been the end of the story if one day there wasn't a knock on Tisha's door. As it turned out, after discovering this heroic woman's story from social media, as well as receiving many letters from neighbors, the local TV station decided it couldn't stay away and found it necessary to make a surprise for this huge family. The Beauchemin family had long dreamed of dividing one children's room into two small bedrooms as well as renovating and buying new furniture for the children, and the TV channel volunteered to help them with that. The producers were so impressed by Tish and her husband's decision that they decided to settle the family in a hotel for a few days, and in the meantime, the work in their house was in full swing. Of course, putting up a single wall wasn't all it was about. The best designers and engineers developed a whole new interior of the house, and there was room for everyone. It took just under a month to remodel the house. And when the family walked into their newly renovated home, they were speechless. Even in their wildest dreams, the Beauchemin couldn't have imagined this. Of course, it was a touching moment. The kids cried with happiness and could not rejoice in their new bedrooms, and the hero parents admired the functional living room and kitchen. In addition, 
New furniture was installed in the house and the space was divided into several living areas. But as you have already realized, that was not all. The parents' deed was so highly appreciated by the community that in addition to the repairs, the TV channel also gave the family a one-year certificate to get free groceries for their entire family. And when the parents were over the moon with happiness, something happened that no one expected. The presenter pulled out a small box and handed it to her eldest 18-year-old son. And when he opened it, he couldn't believe his eyes. There was a check for a huge amount of money given to buy his own home for the older boy. But that wasn't all. On that touching note, the family was asked to go outside where another gift was already waiting for them near the house. A large family car in which they could now all drive together. When they saw it, Tish couldn't hold back her tears. She said they were very lucky and that they hadn't done anything special. But that's not what people thought. When the Beauchemin couple decided to become the foster parents of three orphan children, they couldn't think of any personal benefit. It was this selfishness that won people over. All of these gifts were purchased with donations from ordinary citizens and money from patrons. After all, everyone admires their deed. Now a huge family lives in a new house and does not need anything. The parents plan to take the whole family to the ocean by their new car and have a little rest after which they still have a lot of things to do. Now there are 10 people in the family and that means there is still a lot of work to do. As the locals say, the deed of these people cannot be measured by money. Everyone wanted to help them because they really deserve it. So that's the story, friends. Write your opinion. What do you think of what the couple did? Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and talk to you soon.